So the purpose of doing mammography is to uh, catch anything that is different from the year before. We watch for uh, calcifications um, or if there is any masses that we can be seen. As a breast imaging radiologist, I do um, breast cancer screening and diagnosis, uh, which also include um, breast intervention procedures like biopsies, uh, mostly, and then sometimes needle localization prior to uh, surgery. And I usually read mammograms and breast ultrasound and breast MRI. People with um, family history of breast cancer and usually in first degree relative um, or people with genetic mutations sometimes which can be tested. As we age we, we are more susceptible to uh, cancers in general or uh, factors that have people uh, with increased estrogen load in their body such as having early period or late uh, menopause. Um, or having uh, no kids uh, in their lifetime, or uh, no breastfeeding is also part of it as well. Breast cancer can start in different parts of the breast tissue. Uh, it can start in the ducts or lobules of the breast, which are uh, responsible for making the milk. Um, those would be the carcinomas for breast cancer. Um, they can also start in the blood vessels and supporting tissues of the breast, uh, and those are called the sarcomas, which are very rare. It's less than 1% of the breast cancer that we see. So most of the breast cancer uh, are the carcinoma types. For breast cancer screening for uh, people in the populations, uh, they are of average risk, meaning without um, the genetic mutation or, or um, family history, um, they can get started uh, for screening mammogram at age 40. For people that have uh, known genetic mutation or, or think they may have it through their family history, they can get genetic uh, testing and then see if they indeed do have any sort of genetic uh, risk. If they were found to have increased risk and genetic mutation, they can start having screening at age 25 or 30 with a combination of uh, breast MRI with or without mammogram. To prepare for a mammogram, uh, one big uh, important thing is that to not wear deodorant uh, for the day of the, right before having an exam done, because deodorant, whatever is made up uh, in the components of it, uh, it can mimic calcifications um, on imaging, so we don't want any confounding factors when we read a mammogram, so that's one uh, important thing. The other one is that um, make sure that you bring your prior imaging, any breast imaging, uh, or any procedures that you have had done, the reports and the imaging and the pathology uh, reports, uh, if you haven't had any imaging done at the place that you're going to, um, so that a radiologist reading your uh, imaging can have uh, your history for comparison. So the purpose of doing mammography is to uh, catch anything that is different from the year before. We watch for uh, calcifications um, or if there is any masses that we can be seen uh, on mammogram that you can't feel. So a lot of times people can feel things uh, and then a lot of times that can be too late already. We want to catch the, uh, the breast cancer at its earlier stage if possible to prevent it from going to a later stage um, disease. Breast cancer is not exclusive to women. Men can have them as well. Uh, although it is re very rare, but it's easier to diagnose because a lot of times um, men can usually feel it uh, uh, easier than, than women because there's uh, not as much breast tissue in men. Um, so, but it can definitely happen.
at Eminent Health, uh, at both Intercommunity Hospital and Foothill, we have um, mammogram and breast ultrasound. And one thing that's special about Intercommunity Hospital is that we offer uh, tomosynthesis imaging as well. Um, there's also breast MRI that's offered at Intercommunity Hospital too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to help more people find this important health information. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell for access and reminders to more Emanate Health videos. We upload informative video content every week.